family business, to say the least here. Yes. The guys from Besold Products. It's Garang and Kane Patel. How, what's Thank up, guys? You. How you doing? Good, how are you? Well, first of all, what I love about you, you, you roll in with a nickname already. So this is G, everybody, <laughs> that's right? right? That's what my most people call me in the industry, yeah. So let's talk a little bit about, you know, I always love businesses that are family run. Now, you guys are cousins. Yes, right? first cousins. And first then cousins. your wife is? Uh, she's VP of operations. So how does that work? I mean, how, how, do, how do you keep well, the home, the work dynamic going? I tell you what, I don't recommend it. <laughs> 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 but you know how this started was I, we started the business literally from scratch, from okay. our garage. Um, yeah. Wow. So, uh, you know, at that time I had a corporate job and we were, uh, my wife was um, also going to school and doing this, uh, helping me part time. Mm -hmm. So we slowly grew this business, um, you know, from the garage to a store and to a warehouse and now a lot bigger warehouse. Yeah. So now that you know she has been with my this journey i can say to her that you're no longer a vp of operation she'll fire me <laughs> that's right you can't lay her off right that's right yes she, she, she she's too vetted already she's too that's right the yeah so the first thing i think you know being a cigar uh show here at, at the blend when you hear the last name patel so yeah. I'm sure everybody. So you guys related to Rocky Patel? Or no, no, we're we're friends, we're but friends, not but, related. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, well, you, you know, know I, know think, I think Rocky for uh, uh, being such a popular and solid figure in the industry, uh, where uh, because of him, I don't have to spell my last name to anybody. Yep in the industry you know yep, uh, so uh, thanks rocky if you ever <laughs> listen to this <laughs> he's on the list rocky we're coming for you we're gonna have you here uh, on the blend soon so okay so bisol b-i-s-o-l that's the name of the company Kane, where does that come from so that's the name of our hometown where our grandfather used to live okay. and our dads grew up over there and we visited the place so much that's true. so when he was looking for a name for the business you know going back to the roots he said, why don't we just name it Vesol? That's the name of our native place. So that's you know, how that's the name came along. That's a way along. for us to honor the roots, you uh, know, roots. and cigar industry is very much like that, where everybody is very proud of where, you know, where they come from. You know, you, I'm sure, uh, have your own story sure. being an immigrant sure. I mean, and I'm everything. I'm the son of immigrants. That's you know, right. They, yeah. they, they, they yeah. came from Cuba. They give me a better life. That's so, yeah. correct. Yeah. yeah. So that was basically the uh, motive behind it uh, that we wanted to kind of, you know, give ourselves that uh, uh, identity that is attached to our roots. So, you know, it's 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 so funny because, you know, obviously, you know, family members in business together, you know, you it's an homage to to your hometown. So family clearly is super important to you guys. Oh, right? oh yeah. 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 So so do you find yourself is it is it easier because there's that there's that dynamic? I mean, what, what's the biggest but challenge? Honestly, we when we are at work, we don't work as a family member or brothers or anything like that. We are we have our own roles in the business. Mm -hmm. Everybody does their own job, and you know we help each other out, and that's how the business grows. So, so G, you're the owner. Kane, you're you're the, I'm the general manager, the general manager and, and then then the, the boss lady, the yep. Mrs. Yeah. G. This is she's the VP of operations. Her name is Krupa. Krupa. Yeah. Krupa so yeah. shout out to Krupa. Yeah. So uh, so so walk me through the so how did how did it develop? How did it happen? When did it start? So back in '99, I uh, you know, I had a corporate job and I never enjoyed the corporate environment. Mm -hmm. um, it was too much politics. It was. Basically, you know, everybody's geared towards doing something and I, it was not my cup of tea. Gotcha. I, I did not enjoy being in corporate world. So I was like, okay, you know what? I want to have something that's my own and I can grow it, uh, you know, even though it's slow uh, growth, it's fine. And that's how I uh, came with an idea to become a retailer. And um, we basically started the business with $150 online. Wow. And we grew it slowly and steadily. And then a year later, I met uh, my girlfriend, now my wife. Mm -hmm. And she was, uh, uh, you know, going to school at the time. And mm -hmm. uh, she had a lot of time on her hands. So, I, you know, I told her, why don't you start helping me out? And uh, she started helping me. And she is very business savvy. Helps. So it helps. Yeah, yes. Helps. And uh, very probably, creative. And <laughs> very creative as well. 
unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, hopefully you, know, you guys I, can cut that I, part out. <laughs> I, I, I always say, when, you, when you're at the grocery store, organic is code for expensive. Yeah. Creative yep. means difficult <laughs> not really. no at, no, at <laughs> times she, you know she can but, but it's a business like, oh, yeah, it but it's right. a business difficult yeah, not it's a personal nothing personal right, yeah right, nothing so personal. We, we keep that always separate right right so you know uh, she uh, she saw a lot of opportunity um, mm -hmm. so we uh, you know uh, started this even from we, we moved to Dallas at that point and started this thing uh, to expand a little bit from the garage mm -hmm. and uh, you know <laughs> yeah. then we were like okay why well, why don't we sell cigars too you know so because we're selling cigar accessories um, and you know fast forward a few more years and in 2004 or 2005 or something like that there was uh, you know uh, or maybe a little bit later you know one of the companies uh, went out of business and uh, lighter so there was a big void Mm -hmm. in the market mm -hmm. and uh, I'm like I want to create my own brand that, that basically can be uh, you know catered to somebody who is looking for more affordable lighter because back then everything was like fifty two hundred dollars yeah. you know and um, that's where we came up with the idea of yeah. uh, you know coming with a more affordable line and you know gradually growing into more of a higher end line well, yeah. so when you when you go to your website which is which is besoldproducts.com yep. yes, um it's 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 a cornucopia of stuff mm -hmm. i mean it's 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 lighters it's ashtrays humidors uh, business Cutters. card holders everything. for men and for women came yes so we do accessories as well we do bar accessories so we do cocktail shakers flask flask gift sets um we cater to a lot of the wedding you know uh, grooms and bridesmaids products as well and we have a lot of jewelries as well that we have been doing it. So we, that's not a huge portion of our business, but we cater them with everything that we can, um, whatever we can make it in a in affordable price. So that expertise of engraving, yes. right. um, that personalization, personalization right? yeah. became more and more uh, apparent to us that we need to start uh, offering this specialty and this expertise and knowledge that we have acquired over the period of time uh, why don't we start offering this to retailers and make make the lighters with their own brand and we always say that to retailers that why do you push somebody else's brand when you can push your own brand right, right. it's like a walking business card yep. that, that that is so true because yeah. all of a sudden if you own a cigar shop you own, you own a restaurant or whatever all of a sudden somebody buys a lighter and it, it is it's a it's a it's a walking talking business card. yeah i got a funny story for you you know our good friend uh, brian waters uh, i've known him Ed. for many years mm -hmm. uh, great people um so he we have been doing uh, his logo lighters for almost six, six seven six, years seven now years. Yeah. open door cigars, open door cigars, cigars yep. you know the, by the way they offer all of our accessories on opendoorcigars.com if yep. you guys are, ever want to buy something online from them and support uh, the great guys that they are. Um, so we found his lighter, well, I mean, our lighter with his logo in our store in Denton. Oh, wow. So a customer walks in and he has one of the open door lighters. And first thing G says, is, you must be from Arkansas. And yeah. he goes, how do you know? How do you know that? He and is, boom, and there's boom, that connection. There's that connection. And exactly. then we started talking shit about Brian Waters. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's easy to do, by the yeah. way. That's easy yeah. to do. So, so, so let's let's take a look at some of this. So, right here, this is this is the lighter, and this is like, I mean, you guys got everything here. Yeah. Look so at this stuff. This is just a short, this is tiny portion of a what tiny we portion of what we right? have. Our catalog is fifty pages, wow. right now. So, so, besides doing our own brand, which is we saw, we are exclusive distributors, uh, U.S. distributors for Porsche Design. Okay, um, Tonino Lamborghini and Cassetti. Well, no, um, you, you got you got my attention when you said Lamborghini right yes, there. Uh, that's right. Yeah, I and don't own one, but would love. To. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you all would like to sponsor the blend, right. we're, we're here for you. Uh, yeah. We're here for you. We'll, 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 one one uh, subscriber at a time. That's it. Uh, that's, that's right. It. That's how you build a business. That's, so that's so that's amazing. So 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 your retail experience helped with that. Correct. Um, yeah. 
Now, the, the, the first, you know, the sort of the elephant in the room is, you know, how did, how did COVID, did it affect you? Did it hurt you? Did it help you? Because you guys are more of an e-commerce site, right? So in 2020, when it started, right, we had just bought the store. Mm. So, so March, many stories like that. January, right? we took over the ownership. March, we actually opened. And June, we were closed. No, well, oh, my March, gosh. Of, uh, we were open for a week. We, and then yeah. in March, we were closed until May. Until May, June, yeah. yeah. yeah so was, that uh, did shook us back. But our accessories business, on the other hand, kept growing. Mm -hmm. Because more and more people were smoking from home. They needed lighters. They needed cutters. Because they're used to going in the store and having the store yeah, lighters is, and right. cutters. Now they have to use their own. So the stores were getting a lot of orders as well. And then that gave us an idea of coming up with a lot of creative products. So giving you an example, this cutter here. Right. The entire <laughs> cutter is a cigar rest. Oh, wow. So when I when during COVID times, I would never put my cigar down on an ashtray because multiple people might have used it. Right. So we came up with an idea of, you know, cutter that is a full cigar rest with it. And this this is this is a cigar case. That's yep. right. And that's we also have a built a built in hole. There's a cigar rest on it as well. So oh, wow. all of a sudden it, it opened our creativity where we can do a lot of new stuff that we have not seen before. Right. And so. Kane here is a car uh, snob. Uh, he okay. loves everything. He'd I'll be, be browsing uh, car yeah. websites. I'm with you, yeah. my friend. Yeah. I'm with you. So yeah. you know, <laughs> he has a a beamer that uh, you walk in and it feels like you are in uh, freaking carbon fiber. Uh, yeah, I machine. love carbon fiber. Anything <laughs> okay, that so... I can get my hands on carbon fiber, I would get it. All right, all so, right. And it has benefits as well. I mean, this one is less than two grams in terms of weight. Like, feel it, how heavy that is. I mean, Almost it's, it's, not, it's not heavy exactly. at all. I'm expecting it. But it's, it's more durable than steel. That's it's right. genuine carbon well, you, fiber. You, you guys were mentioning that you could literally stand on this thing yes, and sir. nothing would happen to yes. it. Nothing would happen, yep. Now, it's crush proof. Now, there, there, there is, oops, there is a, see, I dropped it, nothing happened. See? <laughs> see? Now, you had some cool, cool thing that you did yeah, here with, with, yeah. with this so, cigar holder. You know, the idea behind a cigar case is uh, it needs to be airtight. Exactly. Yes. Uh, so the humidity doesn't escape. And um, also, when you do that, Hello. you know, that tells you the pressure. It tells build. you that uh, it is a good solid product. So we made sure that the seal is super tight. Mm -hmm. So even though you leave your cigar for a few more days, uh, it still stays humid mm -hmm. and nothing happens to it. So that's, that's the kind of. Um, well, you know, me, Mr. Clumsy, I dropped it and again. Not even, not, you, even, not even a nick. You keep even. dropping it. It's yours now. So. <laughs> Well, well, you know right. what? Uh, there you go. Yeah, just right in here, my right friend. There before I change my mind. <laughs> yeah, finders keepers, right? So I always ask this. It's, it's sort of like the signature question here sure. uh, at the blend. I always say you don't find a cigar. The cigar finds you. So let's start with you, Kane. How did the cigar find you? So that's, again, a funny story. So him and I met in Hong Kong in 2011 uh -huh. when I wasn't even part of Viso. Right. I was living in Australia at that time. Okay. So I've lived there for 12 Are years. Are you a secret agent? But you've been around the world, my friend. I have been. I, I can, but I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so I've lived there for 12 years. And at that time, he was going to Hong Kong for business. And mm -hmm. I said, I'll join you just to learn the business and see how everything works. So we had a hotel that was smoking back in the days. Sure. And then he goes, I have a cigar. Would you want to try? And that first cigar was David of Yamasa. And since um, that no, day, David of anniversary, anniversary yeah. Yeah. right? Since that day, I've been hooked on to the David. Well, you set the bar so pretty started, high, my I friend. I started there, so you know. Long story short, when I moved here, every cigar that I would smoke would taste shit to me <laughs> because I, my palate was used to that yeah, cigar. Yeah. But then over the years, you know, trying a lot of cigars, understanding about the wrappers, the binders, the fillers, and everything, what different regions have it. Now uh, my palate has opened up a lot, and I would try different cigars and. Some of them, I still won't like it. It's not the problem with the cigar. It's the problem right. with it's, my It's your palate. palate. It's, yeah. it's, it's, exactly. you know, every, everybody listen. Everybody likes blue. Everybody likes red. Everybody likes exactly. purple. Whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. So either I like a cigar or I don't like a cigar. Okay. Mine is just either ways. Right. And, you know. David Off, you know where to find this guy. Yeah. They know already. All ah, our reps know already. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That's how I started into the cigar world. And well, now it's not I, just David Off. There is, you know, this, this industry is full of great cigars. Yeah, yeah um, they really you are. Know, I mean, I can go on forever and ever. Cardwell, yeah. Perdon, um, uh, Perdomo, yeah. 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 Perdomo, yep, yeah, that's a great yeah. cigar. So how did how did the cigar find you, G? <laughs> that's a good uh, <laughs> question. So uh, whenever somebody laughs and you ask them a question, you know a good story is coming. Well, back in 2000, um, I 
like quit my corporate job uh, and because I was going to school full time and uh, you know going uh, working full time and it was just too much pressure mm -hmm. and I graduated from college while working as well so I you know decided to just uh, take a, a time off that's it and right? uh, so I told my boss that <laughs> I'm going to give you three months of notice instead of two weeks so we can find somebody to replace me mm -hmm. And I want to go backpacking to Europe. My man. You know, so. To find yourself. Yeah, to, you know, <laughs> I always had a passion to travel, but, you know, when I moved to uh, this country in, when I was 18 years old, you know how it is uh, as an immigrant, immigrant, you mm -hmm. have to just kind of get yourself on your feet first and all that kind of stuff. So I, I, I always wanted to pursue this, but I could never find the resources all the time. So. <laughs> So I quit. I quit my job and I bought a one-way ticket yeah. to Europe. And um, my uh, friend was with me, and who was my college friend, and my cousin joined from um, from uh, Chicago, and he brought two cigars. These are gas station cigars <laughs> in this tube. <laughs> You know, I see gas station cigars seem to be a trend around here. Well, <laughs> oh, our, our, our buddy Ken Hamlin went to a gas station. Uh, yeah, and found a Padron. Yeah, a 64 <laughs> Padron. Like, what? Padron, yeah. So you know, we were in this small village in Gimmelwald up in the mountains. So we were hiking, and mm -hmm. uh, we there was like probably one of the spot that if I could ever rewind, rewind the time and go back to a certain oh, place, wow. that would be the place. Right. And that's when I told. Uh, that's when he pulled those two gas station cigars, and we lit it. Up. I already had lighter with me because I was already in the business. Mm -hmm. um, so we lit it up and. Um, he could not even finish a quarter of an inch, but I smoked the, through the damn thing. Right. You know, it tasted like shit. <laughs> After With that. a capital S. <laughs> After that, uh, um, you know, he never smoked a cigar in his life, but I kind of clinged on to the. Right. You know the art, and then after that, I learned there are so many good cigars right. out there, and you know. Uh, rest you know, history. I think you know you guys being 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 business people and successful business people. I think you guys understand this connection yeah. that the cigar has. That again, you know, it doesn't matter what your title is, doesn't matter if you if you're if you're a, you know a daily hire or you have a time clock exactly. or you're the boss. It's that connection. We're all smoking the same thing. And that's yeah. got to open up so many opportunities. Oh, it's yeah. such a way to talk to people. And that's the thing, you know, you never know who walks into your store. Like it could be a CEO of a company or an employee that, you know, works in the company. Mm -hmm. But they both could be smoking the same cigar, having mm -hmm. a different conversation. Mm -hmm. But that, so, that, you know, we in our cigar store, we have chair, or arrange our chairs as a big group where everybody can kind of, it forces everybody to talk to each other. Yeah. Right. You know, which that, that, doesn't happen these smart. days anymore. Yeah, right? everybody's on their phone or Facebook and Instagram in their own world. The best sign I ever saw, I was, I was in, I, I live in Miami and we went to some food truck fair mm -hmm. and one of the food trucks had a sign that says, there's no Wi-Fi. Talk to talk each to other. Each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about your, your shop because you guys, you guys are out of Dallas, but you have a shop yes. in Denton, Texas. Denton, Tell Texas. us about the cigar shop. So same thing, you know, he was looking at opportunity to go back into the cigar retail business because mm -hmm. he had one before and looking for all uh, areas around Dallas. And we found this, you know, standalone building because our biggest um, requirement was we want to be a standalone. We don't want to have issues right. with neighbors upstairs, and upstairs and downstairs and all those things. So we found the building um, again, c coming back to Krupa, she renovated the place very high oh end, you know, yeah, so she had a vision. So yeah. and it came along well, customers appreciated and it's still going great since we've opened up again. It's, it's, it's the Denton Cigar Company. Denton, Denton Cigar, cigar Company. company. So yeah. When you're in the Dallas area, and I'm going to be there in a couple of weeks, so yeah. please stop by. We're, we're going to yeah. we're going to have yeah. hang around we'll it with my with my custom made J Rod lighter, lighter that we talked That's about. Right? Yes. I will have it ready there. Oh my friend! So listen, what's been for you guys in terms of, you know, I love that not only do you sell products, but you're immersed in the products that you sell because you have this cigar company what's been the biggest challenge for you guys in terms of business so and cigars while we were growing right the business was growing so much again we were i would say rookie in the business of knowing what works in the store and what doesn't having our own store now helps us because we do the experiment in our own store mm. by coming up with display packages coming up with you know stands that we can put our products on 
and certain things you know breaks that we don't bring it in the market because right. we've tested it over six months over three months and we can that whole project you have your own r d your exactly. research and development yeah. at your shop and yeah. we get customers feedback right like oh they love this lighter because there's something great about it or how can we change it and make it even better and we observe customer behavior yeah. uh, in the store uh, we you know where, where is the customer pointing himself out where is he trying um, a lighter that's uh, you know twenty dollars mm -hmm. or is he going first to a fifty sixty dollar lighter mm -hmm. you know so it's you know that's where the creative um, uh, merchandising and display uh, you know displays come in the picture right there is is, is where how you display the right, lighters right, so. right. so you guys I mean you guys are the the quintessential American success story, you know, people who come yeah. to this country, work hard, build and create something as a successful business owner. You know, you know, I say this a lot, almost at nauseum, you know, you want to be successful, hang out with successful people. What would be your advice? It's like, hey, you know what? I've got an idea. I want to start something. As a guy who did it, what would you, what, what would you say? Or how would you approach uh, you it? You know, in success, uh, somebody in the industry told me that success is not a destination. It's a journey. Yes. Um, so yep. don't get hung up on to it's like, oh, I, I made it now. I'm just going to relax. There is no such thing as, you know, uh, you just you make a, you know get up in the morning do yep. your thing believe in what are you doing mm -hmm. and you know then you put 100 percent, and you know everything else is up to you know right, your, right. The, right. So the other thing main thing that we focus on is the relationship with our vendors as well right now in our uh, line of business right now brian if he has lighters that are not working which will break like it's a lighter sure the way we light bulbs go them, out you know yeah, yeah. The way you look after them and they look after their customer plays a huge role in our success. A customer that has an open door lighter will come back to open door and say it's not working. All they do is give them a brand new one because we're going to replace it for them. Right. We don't make them wait, you know, longer periods or any or, other complicated or go on the system. Website and fire, fill a we don't have any. I mean, you know, right. who wants to do that? Right. Uh, exactly. For a freaking lighter. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So well, the people. And you know his people are are, are trusting him sure. to sell a good lighter, and more, you know more, I, there are times when the lighter stops working, but then they put his trust forward right there. It's like, hey, this not working, and he would immediately replace it. Mm -hmm. You know, because these are cigar customers; they are yeah. repeat customers. So you yeah. cannot monkey with that repeat mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, and he would basically just tell us that, hey. Uh, these are about three or four lighters that came back in a few months and we'll next order we just replace those lighters so he's not out of his pocket on right. those lighters yeah. and so so what i'm hearing is it's it's all about relationships it's all about it's relationships. always yeah. be and that's one of the reasons why how we started slow and we're growing you know fast about it as well because everybody's now appreciating that in the industry. Yeah. More one customer at a time. Yeah. One retailer, one retailer, retailer at, a at a time. So what are, what are we smoking before we get out of here? What are you smoking, So this Kane? was from our buddies at Second Street Cigar. Um, he has in-house cigar specially made for him called Principal um, Cigars. They made for him. Okay. Very nice and mild Connecticut. So I just enjoyed it. It's a time to have right. one cigar and before you're, dinner. And you're a tough sell from what That's I'm hearing, exactly right? You're a tough sell. You know, if it... Pleases my palate. It's a good cigar. <laughs> He's you, a my friend. Cell. What do you, what do you got over there? So Clyde, um, we visited him yesterday, mm -hmm. and um, we uh, never take cigars with us. We always, whenever we go to a cigar uh, lounge, that's our customer. We make a point and buy a cigar. You know, from got them. To. You know, that's, that's another uh, etiquette uh, in the industry. Right. right. I've always said this. You want to be a friend. You want. You got a buddy that's a barber. You got a buddy that's this. Yeah. The best way you can support them is by buying something. There's nothing worse. Than, hey, can I have this for free? Like, yeah. Oh, you buy something. So he, yeah. uh, he had this uh, made. Uh, it's a Lancero uh, with, um, I forgot Ecuadorian the Ecuadorian, Ecuadorian uh, Maduro. Mm -hmm. uh, and he, uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's his unique cigar that's made just for him by Black Label Cigar Company. And he's like, try this. And I tried. And, and we ended man, up buying it was so box. good. Yeah. I ended up buying a whole freaking box. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Let's. That's uh, the story. That, yeah, that's you know the what? Story. Listen, for as much as we love yeah. the Padrones and the Nick Perdomos of the world, sometimes give small guys a chance yeah. as well. You know, I mean, uh, we we in our cigar store, we have a very good diverse uh, uh, collection of cigars where we support 
uh, boutique cigars mm-hmm. and we support uh, you and know the brand name ones as well everybody you know? And then me, you know, our buddy Ken Hamlin was on the show. I've got his, you know, the arrival, the Grand Toro. So yeah, again, we had that cigar in our store and yeah. everybody loved that cigar. It's a great it's cigar. It's a great cigar. It's the good yeah. stuff. So where can we find uh, Be Sold products online and uh, uh, on social media? So where can we find it? We would recommend that you uh, uh, buy our lighters from our partners, retail partners that, uh, you know, keep us in business. Um, you know, I, I think uh, in this particular case, while, while uh, we are here visiting Open Door Cigars, opendoorcigars.com should have uh, most of the lighters that we sell yeah, right. online on their website. And if, you know, I live in Miami, you know, let, let, let's say for some odd chance they don't have it, you can go to your to your website and you yeah, can custom right. made orders for yourself. Yes, right? vsoldproducts.com. And again, we have the same lighters that they would carry it over there. They wouldn't have the logo on it, right. but, it but you can get your but logo. But you can get your name, your, your name Correct. engraved. You can get it engraved yeah. and have it personalized yeah. for you or your friends that yeah. you're buying it for. I love it. Listen, so that's this is G. Business. That's Kane. It's the Soul Products. Thank you so much yes. for hanging out, my friends. Thank you. All right, Pleasure. good times. It's the blend with the best Patels I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.